So why does an area of a triangle equal one-half base times height? We're going to look at that before we actually go into a few problems. It's easy to apply it. We're going to show why it's true. So in other words, if I had a triangle like this, and I want to know what this area is, how can I figure it out every time for any triangle? First example. So how can we figure this? What I'm going to do, okay, first of all, what's the area of a rectangle? Length times what? Width, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to create a rectangle out of this triangle. You can just follow along enough to copy this down. I'm going to draw kind of an imaginary line here. One here. And I'm going to draw one down the middle. Like that. So notice the area of the triangle is in blue. And then the area of the entire uh, rectangle would be in red. But notice something. The area of the triangle is going to be half of that. Why? Because this area right here is just the same as this area here. Same thing for the other side. Those are equal. So that means the area of the rectangle must be twice as big as the triangle. So every triangle has a height, okay? Just imagine in the real world if you actually had a, a wooden uh, triangle or something. It would actually have a height to be able to measure it. So we're going to call that H. I'll use capital H. All right. And then it also has a base right here. Okay, I'll call that B. So what would the area of the rectangle be? Well, this would also be the height, right? So the area of the rectangle, we'll call it area of, or I'll actually draw the rectangle. Area of the rectangle would just be base times height. Okay, but we did look at the, if you look at this, like I said, the, the area of the triangle is just half of that based on what we drew. So the area of the triangle would just be one half of that. And that's where the formula comes from, and you can do this for any triangle. You can take any triangle and make a rectangle all of it and see that it's just half the area of that rectangle. Let me do another one. Just because this, this is a simple, this is the most simple triangle. It's an equilateral. Next one. So what way I'm going to make this. All right, for, actually the first thing to do is to draw the height. So here's our height right here, right? We can replicate that over here and make a rectangle. We can do the same thing over here. That's not the perfect drawing. Let me try that again. I'm not a very good sketch or drawer. All right, but again, we can see that this cuts this piece in half, and this one's been cut in half. And we can see that the area of the rectangle is still just going to be the height times this big base right here, and the area of the triangle would just be half of that. So again, we wanted to find the area of that triangle would be area equals one half base times height. I'm going to do it for one more. I know I'm kind of uh, being a little thorough here. This one's kind of tilted. Again, though, this would actually have a height. You'd actually have to draw it kind of like this. That would be the height of the triangle. And then we can make a, another rectangle by doing this, making one over here. It's not a perfect drawing, but you can see it will work for any triangle. You'll still get the area of the triangle would be one half base times height, or half of the area of that entire rectangle. This would be your base, and this would be your height. All right, so that being said, let's apply that formula to a few problems. Here's one that's just in words. Find the area of a triangle with base 4 and height 7. Okay. Well, we need to find the base. And this one, it gives it to you, but... The third example, we're actually going to have to figure out what the base and the height are. 
base is 4. Step 2, the height is 7. Write out the formula. Formula is the same no matter what. And then just plug it in and solve. One half four times seven, which is two times seven, which is fourteen. Okay, that's it. Easy to apply. How many of you guys remember the Pythagorean theorem? What is it? Yes, thank you. Okay, we're going to be applying that in the third example. This next one's just kind of like what you're going to see on the assignment. This one has a decimal on it. All right, can somebody tell me the difference between the base and height? Which one's the base and which one's the height? Okay, good. The base is 18.2. Now, the base doesn't have to be... I thought about this. The base doesn't have to be bigger than the height, but it usually is. Okay, then the height is how tall it is, which is 13. I'm going to write out the formula again. Okay, so we have one half. I'm going to plug in the base, which is 18.2. And then the height, which is 13. Which one have 18.2? 9 point what? 9.1. Okay. 9.1 times 13. Well, it'd be 13 times 9 plus 1.3. Hmm. I'll have to show my work here. Okay, so 13 times 9 would be 117. We just did that problem. 117 plus 1.3 equals 118.3. Certainly, you guys can use a calculator. I just like to do things in my head. All right. Let me ask you guys something. I meant, I meant to mention this. What if this was feet? What if that was 13 feet tall and... 18.2 feet wide, what, what would the area be? I'll give you a hand, it's not feet. Square feet. Or square inches or whatever, okay? When you get to area, it's a second dimension, so you have to write it squared. All right, third example. Here we're going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so what kind of triangle is this based on these markings? Good. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in what I already know based on those markings. That means all of these are 18. Okay. Now what are we missing? We, we know the base. Okay, after we do that, base must be 18. But what, what piece of information are we missing? Okay, so the question is, how do I figure that height out? Well, if I just draw it, I can kind of see that this triangle can be broken up into two right triangles. Okay? And I'm just going to focus on this one because they're the same. Okay? Now that I draw that triangle, how long do you think this side is? Nine. Nine. It's going to be half the base. Okay? So, anyway, let's go ahead and just write out again. We found the base already in step one. We got to find the height, okay? So in order to do that, this is going to be nine. We already know this is eighteen. Well, we've got two sides of a right triangle. To figure out the third side, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. That's what the Pythagorean theorem is all about. So I'm going to rewrite the equation for. Um, well, it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So it's it's the two shorter sides squared equals the longer side. So the way this is going to work, it's going to be h squared plus 9 squared. So the two legs squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Remember, hypotenuse is the angle opposite the right angle. That's going to be 18 squared. So as you can see, it's a more advanced problem. We have to use Pythagorean theorem to find the height. Okay, so what's 9 squared? 
81. 18 squared, I don't know. Does anybody know that one? All right, 324. Somebody double check that while I'm working this out just to make sure. Sometimes you type things in wrong. Okay, so we're going to subtract 81 from both sides. We get h squared equals 321 minus 81, 324 minus 81, which is 243, I believe. Yes. Now, how can we solve for h from here? I'll give you a hint, this is squared, so what's the reverse of that? Square root, yes. Hmm. Okay, remember how to simplify radicals? You got to find the perfect square that goes into it. I was just looking at that and noticed that 81 goes into it three times. So it's the same as square root of 81 times the square root of 3. So we get square root of 81, which is 9, and then you just leave the square root of 3. So what that means is the height of this triangle we just found to be 9 square root of 3. That's the height. So now that we have the height, we can figure out the area. So let's go ahead and write the formula out. Base we already figured out was 18. That's the bigger base. And the height we just figured out to be 9 squared of 3, so we're going to plug that in for the height. Half of 18 is 9 times 9 squared of 3. All you have to do is multiply the 9, so you'll be done. 9 times 9 is 81. Final answer is area is 81 squared of 3. Yeah.